Get some coffee. I'll stop right here at the rest area. Look at that coffee. Know what I'm talking about. Big O's getting some fresh coffee. I'm right here at the rest area. I brought my own K cup, so I didn't have to pay anything. Most of the time I buy them out of machine, but today I brought my own K cup. It's beautiful and sunny outside. I'm feeling better. My health's getting better. I'm on Cochicine, which is a strong medication. Cochicine, which is for gout and inflammation. That's why I'm talking. That's why I'm feeling good in the neighborhood. Let's check out this break area while I'm in here bumping my gums. That's what it looks like, people. If you want it, they got it. Any drink you want here, they got the old sodas in the bottles. So here, knee high, Coca Colas, Cheer Wine, RC. The only thing they don't have I see that I like is double cola. I love I like the double cola from Chattanooga, Tennessee. They don't have that. I, I bring it up to them because I, I, if they put them in there, I'll buy them. So I bring it up to the vendor. But if you name it, they got it. Stewart's Cream Sodas, IBC Root Beers, Stewart's uh, Orange Cream Sodas, A&W Root Beer. They got it. Big Red, you who knee-high orange, knee-high strawberry, knee-high grape, sun drop, old seven, look at there, the seven up bottle, seven up. They got it, and they got the cans down there too. So if you want it in here, they got it. All right, let me go over here and get my coffee. I've got important things to do, people like drink coffee and go back outside in the sun and bump my gums. Thank God my health's getting better. I'm put me a little creamer in here. Two creams and a small little bitty tiny amount of sugar. So I've cut back on sugars. I went to diet sodas, but I still use a little bit of sugar in my coffee. Most of I say 75% of the time I drink my coffee black, but sometimes I like my coffee. This is my favorite creamer, Land of Lakes. I put two in there and just a small, small little amount of sugar, probably about a third of a teaspoon. All right, I'll catch you later here in a minute. All right, I've stepped outside. Uh, the sun was beaming down. It's uh, I left my, it's about I left my cell phone in the car. It's about 4:50 p.m. It gets dark here about 6:20 p.m. 6:15, 6:20. But I'm st I stepped outside with my coffee at the Tennessee Rest Area right here in lovely Kingsport, Tennessee. And this is what it looks like, my friends. I'm over there on my ship. There's my Chevy Impala with that police interceptor engine, run 140 mile an hour. It'll run 145 mile per hour. Trust me, I know. I don't know how I know, but I know. That's not your regular Chevy Impala. Ask Sonya Hensley. She was like, slow down when you hit about 130 and she's in the other seat, my girlfriend. Anyway, I shouldn't be telling too much. Some things it's better to keep to yourself. But anyway, it's, it's windy. We got up to 61 today, degrees today. Three and a half weeks ago, we had snow on the ground and I just seen where they had a big snowstorm move up through Pennsylvania. Uh, upstate New York, through New York, it dropped about four inches of snow in New York City. Pennsylvania, I think, got about 12, uh, 10 to 12 inches. Uh, I think they got around six to 14 to 16 inches over in Connecticut and maybe up into New Hampshire. I'd say my friend Fishy Comics up in New York got about four inches of snow, four or five. And that's the first substantial snow New York City has had in two years. The first substantial snow. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, the only first snow they've had all year. We've already had snow here like three times. It, even though the first two times wasn't that really that, me that measurable, the last amount, amount we got was anywhere from five to eight and a half inches here, and that was three and a half weeks ago right here in Lovely Kingsport. So, you know, I don't understand that when New York goes pretty much almost two years without getting snow. Something's wrong with the weather. And like today, it's February, it's February 2024, and we were 61 degrees. Our normal high is only like 53 this time of year. Our normal low is like 24 to 34. So I don't know what's up with the weather. This is what it looks like. This is the guy right here, he just put up. It says R on his door. I'm not sure what kind of trucking company that is. But I'm going to sip on some coffee, and I get back to blogging here in a minute. Because, you know, it's my friend, my, my friend who just passed away from YouTube. He used to watch... My channel all the time, Mary Reed would say, Big O, you have the gift to gab. Praise the Lord. If you're going to be a YouTube vlogger, people, you can't be shy. You can't be shy. You got to stick your 
camera in people's faces. Some people like it, some people don't, but I don't care. This is public. This right here is public. This is Tennessee rest area. That means the taxpayers own it. Exactly what it means. There's security right there. Maintenance security. It's not too busy. We got a record right here who pulled up who's towing a truck. See, he's towing that red Dodge. Let me zoom in. See right there? Red Dodge is getting towed by the big black record. We got Land Star right here beside us in this truck. All right, I'm going to just call this in a blog because I, I don't want my coffee to get cold. I like this rest area. Do you like it? Plenty of room to walk and talk and bump your gums, that's for sure. Like I don't... <coughs> oh, some people talk a lot. I wonder who that would, might be. Some people say, I bump my gums too much. But you know what, people? I'm a YouTube vlogger. That's what I do. Bumping my gums is what I do best. I love to vlog. I love to talk. I love to walk. Praise the Lord. My health is getting slowly better. I'm on that culture scene, which is really not good for your body. But hey, if it keeps me walking and talking, baby, that's all that matters. All right. Till next time, my friends, please be safe. Stay warm. Drink coffee. This is how I simulate my overabundant artistic neurons. One sip at a time, baby. Hot coffee. Yes. 127 IQ, people. That's why my IQ is 127. That's why I have overabundant neurons. I stimulate my neurons one sip at a time, baby, with hot coffee. Now, that's what I'm talking about. Can you smell what your boy, big O, is drinking from your neck of the woods? That's the real question, my friends. The wind's picking up. It was 61 degrees. I'd say right now it's still probably about, it's, like I said, it's probably about right, close to 5 now. I'd say it's probably about 55 degrees right now, 57 breeze we've had a, quite a lot of high wind in the last day and a half and uh up to yesterday morning we had like three days of heavy rain anyway if you like this video give me a thumbs up share it leave those comments down below if you like it give me a thumbs up first time watching please subscribe tell someone you love them try to be nice to people stay away from negative people try to do the right things try to do the right thing even when no one's looking and until next time my friends your boy, the big old loves you. Checking out right here at the Tennessee Rest Stop in lovely Kingsport, Tennessee. I will see you all on down the road.